Hey, Corey Mann, Poseidon Ponds and Landscaping. Today we are in Dexter, Michigan to work on a natural shoreline. And today we're just going to put one group of plants in. Come on over and take a look. So today what we're putting in is a plant that uh, is called a couple different names. You either hear it called pickerel weed or pickerel rush. Um, it is in the Pondaterra genus. And this is actually one of my favorite aquatic plants. I love the flowers that are produced. These are spent for the year here. Um, they grow anywhere from a depth of 18 inches or basically up to zero. And they have these nice spear-shaped glossy leaves. And the flowers that are put on them are great for butterflies and hummingbirds and stuff like that. Uh, big, long purple flower. Very beautiful, usually between like July and September. Um, here's actually a little little part here much more beautiful than that but you can still see the purple color so what we did here is we brought these plants in from our sister company Poseidon plants um, that grows all the aquatic plants we need for natural shorelines uh, rain gardens uh, water gardens everything so uh, what we did here was we uh, turned on the garden hose and we flushed out any of the algae from the plant bins um, some of the hitchhikers like fairy moss, duckweed, stuff like that, because we don't want to introduce that into this beautiful pond here. Um, so let's take one of these plants and show you exactly what we're doing here. Come on down and follow us here. So last year on this project, this whole area was cleared out. If you turn around and take a look down the shoreline, that's what it looked like last year. Now that shoreline there isn't a bad thing. It's rip rearing, it's, it's allowing animals to come and go. It's, a, it's a, a space for plants, both water and terrestrial, to kind of come together and uh, just filter out any of the lawn uh, fertilizers or anything that's the runoff, okay? Um, the only difference is, is you got a lot of grasses in there. You got a lot of invasives. Uh, the homeowner here wanted to really establish some native plants. They wanted this shoreline to look beautiful like you would would naturally see one. So everything got cleared out last year and uh, we did install a shoreline last year but we ran into an issue where what we thought was the high water mark was actually much higher. So all the plants that we had put in got flooded out and only a few made it. Here's a uh, water hibiscus. Um, they were up a little bit higher on the shoreline so some of those made it and a few others but um, what we're doing here with the pickerel today, I can tell just based off of where I marked the high water mark in the spring that the water level was well up into this area here. Okay, so I know where that level is, and then I know that this plant in particular can survive in 18 inches of, of water. Normally, in a situation like this, we'll put a coconut core mat down and it'll help. Uh, the plants get established before some of the invasives or some of the other natives come in. Uh, in this case, because we had uh, the flood last year, uh, we're not going to we're not going to do that this time. We're just going to plug them right into the soil. It's a very simple procedure here. I've got my small spade here that works really well, or I have my soil knife. So in this case, soil knife works just fine. So I'm looking at the high water mark here. And I'm thinking to myself, the plant likes to be into 18 inches of water. So I, you know, I want to play it safe and come down to an area where I know it's still going to get some good moisture, um, but it's going to give us a good area here. So I'm going to create a nice clump of the pickerel weed in here, maybe a little bit down there, and then we'll bring in some of the others, some of the uh, water hibiscus, water iris, stuff like that. So it's real simple, okay? Pick an area like this like you would with any other plant. I'm gonna create a nice little pocket down here and I'm just gonna get the roots down in there, put the plant right down in the soil, move it around, compact it because if we get some more rain this fall, which we're starting to get quite a bit of rain here in Michigan, I want to make sure that plant's gonna hold in there. So we just give it a nice compaction there. And we have our first pickerel rush in. Pretty nice. Stay tuned. We're going to post some more pictures. We might do another video when it's all done. But thanks for tuning in. This is a natural shoreline in Dexter, Michigan.